So what's up fellow collectors? We are here to review the Vintage Collection Spider-Man Peter Parker. Hi, my name is Mr. Poggy and welcome to Mr. Poggy TV. <laughs> Now looking at the front part of the box, as you can see, the Spider-Man logo, the Spider-Man itself, Peter Parker as well, and also he has this back part of the box. This is the drawing of Peter Parker and the instruction on how you will use the alternate head, and as well as the read-up over here, Peter Parker is the college student and photojournalist who is secretly the amazing Spider-Man. And these are the other figures that came in the wave, and I only got this Daredevil, so by which I'm really happy for this one. Now. For this one, let's begin and open this awesome figure! Peter Benjamin Parker was born in Queens to CIA agents Richard and Mary Parker who were killed by the Red Skull and framed for treason during a mission. While attending a General Tektronics public exhibition, a 15-year-old Peter Parker was beaten on the hand by a spider, which was irradiated by the demonstration's particle accelerator. Peter discovered he had somehow gained incredible strength, agility, and surface scaling, all spider-like traits that he immediately associated with the spider bite at the demonstration. Now this figure only came with two accessories, basically this one is just the alternate head by which this is the spider sense tingling head for this is the spider-man mask and as well as the Peter Parker head. And looking at this camera, so uh, it's kind of big so I'm not really sure why did they push for this kind of big camera. So it's an old style camera so it's, a, it's an analog or a manual camera so I just wish that they use a lens over here and another detail and just a strap for it to be hooked inside or um, around his neck right so that's it for the details of these accessories so now this is Peter Benjamin Parker out of the packaging so by which we are going to take a look at the details of this figure so as you can see for the head for his eyeglasses it's really large and uh, I believe they did not really use this one so much and then uh, you cannot remove it Okay, so just so we so are wondering so you can just raise the glasses but you cannot remove it okay if you remove it you will leave something in there so don't attempt to remove it unless you're ready for the consequences and then also for the jacket it's color brown and then light blue color for the shirt and then as well as for the belt it's for color brown and a gold and the blue pants that's just to make it look like it's a jeans so it's very famous in the 90s early 80s or 90s to uh, to have an outfit like this right and then also uh, Peter Parker came with the white shoes so basically this is a Converse shoes right or Adidas I'm not sure I'm not pretty sure with that now if you are wondering if uh, Peter Parker's body is the same with uh, the Stanley body I got the figure of Mr. Stanley and this is the difference so I'm not really sure why the Peter Parker body is much taller than Stanley but as you can see it's pretty much the same it's almost the same the only difference are the colors right so the colors for this one is uh, well basically for the jacket and then also for the shirt so this one got details for the shirt so the buttons for the shirt it's very detailed and like for this one um, it came with the same color as his shirt for the buttons of the shirt and then for the belt so the difference of the belt is that um, they use a black belt here and a brown belt here and then for the pants so it's got a different color for the hands they do not have well they do not have the same hands and it's a different color for each so you can see for the hands of Peter Parker it's basically made for holding the camera there so you can hold his camera so that's the only gimmick so I really do wish that uh, Hasbro made a strap for this one well maybe I'll just modify it just in case and then also just for the comparison for the pants and then for the shoes so Stanley got the shoes the black shoes but for the for Peter Parker, he got the sneaks or the Snickers. So basically, that's it. And if you want some head swap, so it's not possible for Stanley's head to go inside the Peter Parker body. It's got a different hole or the a different uh, pegs there. So um, 
Well, that's it. So if you're planning to do that, but you can put the body or the head of Peter Parker to Stanley's body. So that's nice. Pretty nice, right? So that's it. So the, those are the comparison. And another one, so it kind of bothers me for this one. Did you see the color? So it's got a white there and then, well, uh, it's kind of bothers something. But, well, it's okay. So it's good. Actually, I like this one. I'm really liking it when Hasbro do this because it's actually nice to have a figure that's in a common clothes, right? It's not a superhero form, so he is in common clothes and you can do a lot of pose and in a casual mode, right? So that's it. So those are the details of this figure. Now for the articulation of this figure, so you can rotate his head 360, make him look up like this and make him look down like this, there. And also you can do this one, so make him really look down like that, right? And then also for the shoulder, you can rotate his shoulders 360 and then bicep swivel, double jointed elbows and then a hinge for the wrist and a swivel for the wrist and then for his um, abs so you can crunch him forward that much and back that much and the rotation for his hips then you can make him sit like this make him farthest that he can get for the back okay and then also uh, make him split there and then also you can rotate his thighs double jointed knees and this is actually a pretty nice figure, a casual figure, and then a uh, rocking motion for his feet. Now for some size comparisons, so here is Stan Lee standing beside him and then also Eddie Brock Venom. So this is the Venom Deluxe figure, so side by side comparison. So looking pretty awesome. So I like this one. I like this. I like seeing this too. And then another height comparison for this one. This is the Spider-Man 2009. I'm not sure, but this is from Hasbro. So I got it in my shelf. So, well, it's not a Marvel Legends. And then Peter Parker. Daredevil, Netflix, this one, and then also the Matt Murdock head with the body of Everthross. So this is an improvised one. And now last but not the least, let us compare this to the Toy Beast 2003 Spider-Man Tobey Maguire from the Spider-Man 1 film to this Peter Parker. So let's look good, right? It's pretty awesome. Well, it's much taller. This one is much taller than this one. So, how do you like this figure? So for me, I am really happy with this one just because this is one of the first ever Peter Parker comic in the Marvel Legends. And then also, second one is that I am really happy that I have another one body mold like this. My first one is with Stan Lee. I've been planning to buy another Stan Lee just because of the body mold, but with this one, I've got one already. And especially, it's got a, it got a white sneakers, so I'm good with that. Okay? Now, the only thing that I don't like with this one is these eyeglasses. So I wish they come with the transparent type or removable type. And then also, the camera is pretty big, and I wish that camera has a strap. You with me? Are you with me? All right. Okay. So that's the only things or the, the stuff that I would really like with this one. But beyond that, I really like it. All right. So it the market it's around 1,600. So it's a bit of high for me. So I won't be buying a Peter Parker figure for that price. So but uh, if you really like Spider-Man or any Spider-Man toys, so I believe you must have this Peter Parker. So it's a solid figure for me and I'm giving this a rating of 4 out of 5. Okay, I will try not to move just because uh, Peter Parker wants to stay on my shoulder, alright? So um, before we end our video, so I would just like to give a few shout out. Uh, mainly, first, Mr. Lian Angelo Chain for his IG page plug underground right so please visit his IG page so if you are into sportswear um, anything that is uh, related to sports with the uh, uh, type of fashion so just visit his IG page plug underground all right and then the second one is the store of my girlfriend so we visit the Bart shop so she sells condiments food and a lot of stuff in there so it's just starting out so I really I really would appreciate your support in liking her page so it's called the Bart shop all right and then uh, third so mr. Miguel Anthony so thank you so much I've been looking for an age of Ultron um, incredible Hulk 
So, uh, brother, thank you so much. A big shout out to you, Mr. Miguel Anthony, so for selling me the Age of Ultron Hope and Black Widow. So, thank you so much, brother. And then also, a shout out to two of my YouTube friends out there. So, first off, Mr. Mark Paul Noble. So, uh, guys, I would like you guys, if ever, uh, please support his channel. So, he is into toy reviews and movie reactions and I'm telling you that you will be super entertained with his reviews because of the transitions and the way he reviews the toys. He is really knowledgeable, alright? So he's really knowledgeable in uh, reviewing some stuff or toys, okay? especially pertaining to Star Wars. So is he really uh, knowledgeable with that? So visit that page uh, or the, his YouTube page, MP Noble. So it is called Never Too Old. So it's actually pretty nice to have that title, never too old, because you're never too old for your figures, never too old for uh, toys, and never too old for a bunch of stuff that you just grew out of too, okay? So it's actually nice. And then lastly guys, I would like you to please support the, the YouTube page of Mr. Raymond Z. So he is an awesome toy collector and toy reviewer in Texas. So I would like you guys to please support his YouTube page. He has a lot of reviews already and um, well, he is ready to showcase all of his reviews, right? So he's a pretty fun guy. So I would like you guys to visit his YouTube page. I leave all the links at the description below. Hey. So now we're at the end of my video. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, so my name is Mr. Poggy. I do toy reviews and toy vlogs or anything toy related and even song covers and even mukbang and movie reviews, right? So those were the things that I do in this channel, okay? So uh, please help me uh, support this YouTube page. So click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to give you an update regarding my channel. So once again, this is me, Mr. Poggy, signing off. May the force be with you. And guys, please keep on collecting. Stay Poggy! Hey, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram at Mr. Poggy TV at reddit also r slash mr poggy tv and also in my personal twitter account at eduardo b gomez jr stay poggy